vendor programmable display was preset at the factory to English. Ten alternative languages are available for your convenience. Should you wish to change the operating language, turn the main power switch off, wait five seconds, and depress the plus, minus, and enter key simultaneously, and turn the main power switch to the on position. The display will prompt you to select a language. Depress the enter key to store your selection. Before mounting the center former, ensure that the hex shaft mark is aligned to the zero position stamped on the main casting and the digital display reads zero. Refer to the diagram in your operator's manual. If the hex shaft is not properly aligned, depress the bend return button on the control panel to ensure that the hex shaft has been returned to the zero point. Should the shaft require further alignment, power the machine off, depress and hold either foot pedal. Then, power the machine on and release the foot pedal. The display should now read Shaft Reset Mode. Use the foot pedals or control bend return keys to align the mark on the hex shaft to the line on the main casting. Depress the Enter button to reset the C-axis reading to zero. To enter the Data Entry Mode, depress the Enter and Minus key simultaneously. The display reads Data Entry, Yes or No. Depress Plus for Yes and Minus for No. There are 10 available bending programs, numbered 0 through 9. Each program can store 9 individual bends. This allows the operator to store popular settings for later use. Depress the Plus key until the desired program is reached. To erase all previous information, depress the Minus key for 5 seconds. This process erases all previously stored information in this program. Do not use this process for simple editing. The display should now read program number 1, 12, .000 or similar. Depress the plus button to enter the first bend angle. The minus key can be used should you go past the desired angle. Note, the buttons marked return 45 degrees, bend 90 degrees, and cursor 135 degrees help you to quickly choose a bend angle. Depress Enter to store your angle. To enter additional bend angles, depress the plus key to select your angle. Again, use the minus key should you go too far. Depress Enter to store this angle. To exit data entry mode, depress Enter. The display reads End of Data Entry. To return to the working display, depress Enter. The display shows the currently selected program. Next, you have to determine the spring back setting. With all previous steps completed, material and tooling in the bending position, begin the bend cycle by tapping the bend key or foot pedal until the material begins to flex and stop. Observe the degree reading on the display. This is your spring back value. Depress Enter. This inserts the spring back value into the program. This value can be edited later if needed. A spring back value must be entered for each angle within the program. Adjusting the counter bending die support screw. Use the provided T handle Allen wrench and turn the adjustment screw until it contacts the back side of the vise. Secure the screw with a locking jam nut. This adjustment screw affects the quality of the bend and must be set each time the material profile and or size are changed. To finish the bend, depress the bend key or foot pedal and hold until the bender stops automatically at the programmed angle. To return the center former to the zero position, depress the return key or the foot pedal and hold until the bender stops at the zero position. Note, the bender display will automatically move to the next bend within the program. The bend angle and spring back settings can be edited at any time during the forward bending cycle by depressing the cursor key once until the display cursor begins to flash. The plus and minus keys can then be used to change to the desired setting. Note, to edit, you must be in the forward bend cycle. Pick up the phone and call us. You'll discover why so many customers ask for Ercolina by name. Be sure you ask for Ercolina today.
Ercolina. Beware of imitations.